From Washington, this is VOA News. The U.S. calls Nigerian forces heavy-handed in the Taliban attacks in Kabul kill at least four. I'm Vincent Bruce reporting from Washington. Armed forces from France and Niger Friday shot dead two more Islamist militants who took part in an attack on a military barracks in northern Niger the day before. Two al-Qaeda-linked militant groups say they carried out those twin suicide attacks in Niger Thursday as payback for the French-led military invention against them in Mali. The always and look reports on the violence in Niger has raised fears of more regional fallout to come. Niger has contributed troops to a West African regional force fighting Islamist militants in northern Mali, as have Senegal, Burkina Faso, Nigeria, and other countries. The French-led military intervention began in January and has reclaimed much of the territory after the 10-month occupation by extremists. However, Islamist fighters have re-emerged to carry out guerrilla attacks against Malian troops and regional targets. Thursday's attacks were the first of their kind inside Niger. The violence in Niger demonstrates the militants' operational capabilities and has raised questions as to whether national security forces in the region are ready to take them on. And look, VOA News, Dakar. U.S. State Department says it is concerned about what it calls a heavy-handed response by some Nigerian forces in their fight against Islamic militants in the north. A U.S. official said Friday the State Department has been monitoring the situation and concludes that human rights abuses are continuing The official says Secretary of State John Kerry plans to meet with Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan on the sidelines of the African Union Summit in Ethiopia. Nigeria has declared a state of emergency in the north, where Boko Haram extremists have launched numerous terrorist attacks, primarily against police and Christians. Kerry is in Ethiopia for an AU summit celebrating the 50th anniversary of that organization. More details at voanews.com. Other world leaders also are gathering in the Ethiopian capital. Erastus Mwancha, the deputy chairman of the AU Commission, says the 50th anniversary is a time to contemplate Africa's political and chart a new way forward. The areas Africa can be proud of its achievements, but there are areas Africa acknowledges that we could have done better. So it is a moment of reflection, but also a moment of recommitment to the future. At least four people have been killed in a new Taliban attack in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul. Taliban militants, backed by a suicide bomber, attacked a United Nations compound Friday evening and set off several explosions. In the ensuing gun battle with security forces, at least one policeman was killed. Kabul's police chief, General Mohammed Ayub Salanji, told VOA three of the attackers also were killed. Nilab Mubarez is a spokeswoman for the United Nations Assistance Mission for Afghanistan. We uh, uh, strongly condemn this uh, uh, attack and uh, uh, we uh, uh, present our condolences to one a police officer of the Afghan National Security Forces who uh, lost his life uh, to save people. At least 10 other people were wounded. Russia says the Syrian government has agreed in principle to attend a proposed international conference on ending the civil war and setting up a transitional government. A French court has decided not to formally investigate IMF chief Christine Lagarde over her role in a controversial payoff while she was finance minister, but did not name her as a key witness in the continuing probe. The court's action Friday came after prosecutors questioned Lagarde for two days about her 2007 decision that led to the payment of about $500 million to settle a legal battle between the state 
and a close friend of former French President Nicolas Sarkozy. Pakistan has reiterated its opposition to U.S. drone strikes on its territory against al-Qaeda and its associates. It also welcomed President Barack Obama's recognition of the sacrifices Pakistani security forces have made in countering terrorism during his speech Thursday. Foreign Secretary Jalil Abbas, uh, Jalil Abbas Jalani. Our uh, brave forces have uh, ren rendered um, sacrifices in fighting extremism and terrorism and something uh, which has also been acknowledged uh, and recognized by the, by the uh, President of the United States of America. On dr drone strikes, you know our position has been very clear. Jelani reiterated that the attacks are illegal. I'm Vincent Bruce, VOA News, Washington.